Hello all, welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I wanna thank you all so much for all of the feedback, all of the support, and taking the time out to just view so much of our content. It really means a lot to us as a whole. So in today's segment, we're gonna cover a lot of different resources that we have for you guys, and we got a little secret about a new workshop that we're gonna be hosting. So make sure you keep tuning in and you'll see what I'm speaking about a little bit later, all right? While we're discussing the topic of how essential our mental health is to our overall well-being, uh, we don't want to just think about the effect of our mental state, but how it also affects our physical state of being. And we've got to also talk about the challenges. So what are some of those barriers to maintaining our overall mental health? Uh, you guys let me know if any of these sound familiar to you. Chronic things like anxiety, stress, lack of sleep, Fatigue, those sound very familiar to me. Not sure if any of you have dealt with any of those before, but you'd be shocked to hear the numbers behind how many people can relate to it. In this year alone, roughly 84% of adults have reported having some sort of stressful episode. That is up from last year where 78% of adults had reported some sort of stressful episode. When it comes to things like sleep deprivation, fatigue, lack of sleep, between 50 million to 70 million Americans have had some sort of interruption in their sleep pattern. Wow. Mental health deserves care, understanding, and compassion. The value of compassion comes in the form of enabling us to understand ourselves better, but also others better we can then relate to one another a lot easier. When it comes to the compassion, if we're able to develop that ability, we're able to see other people's perspective and sympathize with them better, sympathize with their emotions more. Ultimately, it's only creating more growth. It's important that we remain hopeful. Hope in it in itself allows and promotes healing. It's important that we remain hopeful. And if you're struggling to find that, know that there are so many resources that we have available to you guys here. But I'm gonna also challenge those of you that are watching. If you have friends, coworkers, family members that seem to be struggling with finding any source of hope, bring them along with you. Help them to go do some exercise activities with you. Just give them some positive reinforcement. That goes a long way with those that are dealing with the challenges of mental health and maintaining that. What is the real bright side of being able to maintain that good mental health and well-being? You've got the rewarding and fulfilling experience. Some of the steps you can take to get there are doing things like connecting with others or connecting with your community. Um, making sure that you're being active, doing something refreshing like exercising, whatever form of that that you think is fun and exciting. Uh, making sure that you're being observant and aware of your surroundings so that you can kind of take in what is going on with you and again, your community. Um, always being in a state of learning, right? You don't want to just be stagnant, but learning something new and refreshing that you enjoy doing. Last but not least, if you have the opportunity to do it, give back to others, right? Pay it forward. You know, it's a rewarding experience sometimes to even just see others win and enjoy and grow and develop. So guys, I'm not sure if you heard, but if you have it, if you get a chance to, we're gonna be hosting our stress reduction workshop. This is gonna be at a few different locations. If you have the time, make sure you come by and check it out. We're gonna have it on September 15th at South Shops, on September 22nd at Kimball, and on September 29th, we're gonna host it at Forest Glen. So again, if you've got the time, come on by, you're all welcome. It's gonna be a lot of fun and it's gonna help you learn how to reduce your stress levels. Thank you guys so much again for your time. I appreciate it, I really, really do. If you guys have not, I'm gonna remind you, please subscribe to our channel the Live Well, Work Well channel. Until the next time, I'll see you later.